Hello dear friends and students, let's discuss what is ROR, and its parts. The sections and parts of Colreg are as such Colreg's rules of the road are divided into five parts, these are part A, general, includes rule 1, rule 2, rule 3, part B, steering and sailing rules, includes rule 4 to rule 19, part C, light and shapes, includes rule 20 to rule 31, part D, light and sound signals, includes rule 32 to rule 37, and part A, exceptions, includes rule 38. Ahead in this video let's further discuss in detail more about Part C, Lights and Shapes. The definitions of navigation lights as described in the collision regulations. Side lights are red to port and green to starboard. They are each visible through an arc of 112.5 degrees or 22.5 degrees abaft the beam. The white stern light fills in the rest of the circle and is visible through an arc of 135 degrees. By definition, a masthead light is a white light covering the same combined arcs as the side lights, so 225 degrees. A masthead light is not necessarily at the top of the mast, and there can be more than one masthead light. Rule 23. Power-driven vessels underway, less than 50 meters length overall. Masthead light forward. Side lights. Stern light. Rule 23. Power driven vessels underway, less than 50 meters length overall. Masthead light forward. Side lights. Stern light. Rule 23. Power driven vessels underway, greater than 50 meters length overall. Mast headlight forward, second mast headlight abaft and higher than the forward one, side lights, stern light. Rule 23 power driven vessels underway, greater than 50 meters length overall. Mast headlight forward, second mast headlight abaft and higher than the forward one, side lights, stern light. Rule 23. Power driven vessels underway, less than 50 meters length overall. Masthead light forward, side lights, stern light. Rule 23. Power driven vessels underway, air cushion. Masthead light forward, side lights, stern light. In addition, when in non displacement mode, an all-around flashing yellow light. Rule 24. Towing and pushing. Two mast headlights. Three mast headlights if tow is greater than 200 meters. Side lights. Stern light. In addition, an amber towing light in a vertical line above stern light. Object being towed. Side lights. Stern light. Day shape. If the toe is greater than 200 meters, a diamond shape where it can best be seen. Rule 24. Towing and pushing. Partially submerged object. Two mast headlights. Three mast headlights if toe is greater than 200 meters. Side lights. Stern light. In addition, an amber towing light in a vertical line above stern light. Various white lights depending on length and breadth of towed object. Day shape. If the tow is greater than 100 meters, a diamond shape near the aftermost extremity of the last object being towed. If tow is greater than 200 meters, an additional diamond shape as far forward as practicable. Rule 24. Towing and pushing. Composite unit. When a pushing vessel and a vessel being pushed ahead are rigidly connected in a composite unit, they shall be regarded as a power-driven vessel and shall exhibit the lights prescribed in Rule 23. Rule 25. Sailing vessels underway. Side lights. Stern light. On a sailing vessel less than 20 meters in length overall, 
The lights may be combined in one lantern, carried at the top of the mast, where it can best be seen. In addition to side lights and a stern light, a sailing vessel may show two all-around lights, red over green, at the top of the mast, or where they can best be seen. Rule 25. Sailing vessels underway. Less than 7 meters length overall. Side lights. Stern light. A sailing vessel less than 7 meters in length, not showing the above lights, shall have ready at hand an electric torch or lighted lantern showing a white light. Rule 25. Sailing vessels underway. Side lights, stern light. Rule 26. Vessels engaged in fishing, trawling. Two all round lights, green above white. When underway, side lights, stern light, masthead light, and a second masthead light if length overall is greater than 50 meters. Day shape. Two cones with their apexes together in a vertical line, one above the other. Rule 26. Vessels engaged in fishing, other than trawling. Two all-around lights, red above white. When underway, side lights, stern light, masthead light, and a second masthead light if length overall exceeds 50 meters. Day shape. Two cones with their apexes together in a vertical line, one above the other. Rule 27. Vessels restricted in their ability to maneuver. Dredging. Three all-around lights in a vertical line. Red, white, red. Two all-around red lights on the side of the obstruction. Two all-around green lights on the side a vessel may safely pass. Day shapes. Three shapes in a vertical line, the highest and lowest being balls, and the middle one a diamond. Two balls in a vertical line on the side of the obstruction. Two diamonds in a vertical line on the side a vessel may safely pass. Rule 27. Vessels not under command. Two all-around red lights in a vertical line where they can best be seen. When underway, side lights, stern light, masthead light, and a second masthead light if length overall is greater than 50 meters. Day shape. Two balls in a vertical line, one above the other. Rule 28. Constrained by draft. Note, not applicable in Canadian waters. Three all-around red lights in a vertical line where they can best be seen. When underway, side lights, stern light, masthead light, and a second masthead light if length overall is greater than 50 meters. Day shape, a cylinder. Rule 29. Vessels engaged in pilotage duty. Two all-around lights, white above red. If underway, side lights, stern light, masthead light, and a second masthead light if length overall is greater than 50 meters. Flag, hotel, the code flag for the letter H. Rule 30. Anchored vessels and vessels aground. An all-around white light. If greater than 50 meters length overall, a second all-around white light. Aft, lower than the one forward. If greater than 100 meters length overall, working lights to illuminate deck. Day shape. A ball in the forepart of the vessel. Rule 30. Anchored vessels and vessels aground. If less than 50 meters length overall, an all-around white light where it can best be seen.
Rule 30. Vessels aground. An all-around white light, if greater than 50 meters length overall, a second all-around white light aft, lower than the one forward. Two all-around red lights in a vertical line. Day shape. Three balls in a vertical line. Rule 45. Blue flashing light. Any government vessel engaged in law enforcement duties may exhibit a blue flashing light. Coast Guard engaged in search and rescue may exhibit a flashing blue light. The flashing blue light does not relieve any vessel's obligation from complying with the steering and sailing rules. Notmar F-34. Notices to Mariners. Foxtrot 34. Information concerning submarines. Masthead light above the fin. Stern light at the back of the fin. Side lights below and forward of the masthead light about three meters apart. Forward anchor light in the bows, after anchor light at the stern. In addition, submarines may show a yellow all-around light producing 90 flashes per minute located over the fin.